Right, let's learn the major scale formula. The major scale is what I call the mother of all music because most music is born from the major scale. You could get other scales from this by altering the notes, starting and stopping on different notes. And then from the scales, we're going to start learning how to form chords and arpeggios and all sorts of really cool things. But we need to start by knowing where everything comes from, the base of it. So let's start from learning the major scale. And what I want to show you now is the major scale formula. Now what we could do is apply this formula to any, starting with any note, and you'll be able to form a major scale. And the formula goes whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. And that's the series of notes that you're going to go through, steps that you go through to make a major scale. Let me show you what that is so you can understand it a little bit more. Let's start with the third fret of the fifth string. That's a C note. And we're going to play and create a C major scale here. So here we go. We're starting with the C note. And we go up two frets. We got a D. That's a whole step. Remember, two frets on the guitar is a whole step. Then we go up another whole step, which is E. And then we go up a half step, which make it F. And then another whole step, G, whole step, A, whole step, B, and then half step. You're back to C again. So C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. That's the notes of a C major scale. That's the only scale that's going to be a natural scale. There's not going to be any sharps or any flats within that scale. So only scale is all natural notes. So a C major scale is C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. So just playing those notes in a row, you could make a major scale. Now you could do that with any note. I could start with any note on the guitar and make a major scale doing that same formula. Let me just give you a quick example. Like say we're starting with the G note. G, whole step. A, whole step, B, then half step, C, whole step, D, whole step, E, whole step, F sharp, and then half step, G. So a G major scale is G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. So you could start on any note and form a major scale using that major scale formula. So it's important to know this formula. Whole step, whole step, half step. Whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. In the next lessons, I'm going to show you how to make those major scales into little patterns. And there'll be one octave patterns. They're all one spot. You're not going to usually play the scale of one string like we just did there. I just showed it to you that way so you could understand how the major scale formula works. So memorize that, that uh, formula for it. Made, uh, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. That's your major scale formula.